Hey everybody, it is Monday at 4.30, just about. Just wanted to pop on here, say hello, hope you all had a great weekend. Here are my thoughts for Monday. I know we talked last week about pressing into the Lord and allowing Him to be your place of healing. Being vulnerable and open about the things that you're going through, the pain that you're feeling, the struggle that you're in, knowing that you can trust Him, that He has more for you than you know right now. We talked about those things last week. And I was thinking over the weekend, you know, maybe we need to take a step back from that. Because the first place that you have to have laid as a foundation before you maybe are able to press into the Lord for that kind of healing is this foundation of trust, of knowing that He loves you, of being certain that He's for you. I'll admit, I grew up in the church, you know, I attended church from the time I was a little girl, I asked Jesus in my heart when I was five, and when I went through my first crisis of belief, of a struggle, you know, when life was not going my way, that would have been the, the loss of my first daughter. I was six months pregnant when she was born. She lived for 20 minutes and she passed away. It was a struggle for me. It was definitely a crisis of faith to say, God, you know, why have you allowed me to walk here? What am I supposed to find out about myself in this place? How am I supposed to know you more here? What is this all supposed to look like? That for me was my first crisis of faith, if you will. And the place that I came back to in all of that was this realization that I did not trust God. You know, I realized that I knew him. I had read the Bible. I had been in church. I had all of this stuff that I knew up here and somehow it had not transferred itself to my heart. I didn't truly trust him. And for me, it was coming to this place where I could say, God, you know what? I know that I don't trust you and you must be so disappointed in me because you are trustworthy. I mean, I've read the pages of the word. I know that I should be able to trust you and yet somehow I feel like I just wanna be in control of my own life and be guaranteed that things are going to look a certain way. And so for me, it was this process of really learning how to trust the Lord. And I share this often when I am asked to share my testimony. You know, for me, that first place, that first step in learning how to trust God was simply opening my hands and letting go of the things that I had held on to so tightly for so long. And you know, it's not like it was this one-time deal. It wasn't like one day I just woke up and learned how to trust Him. There were days that my hands were open and days that they were closed again. And He understood that. He saw my heart. He realized my struggle. He knew that. But I felt very certain that He wasn't disappointed in me that I didn't know how to trust him, that I hadn't been able to do that. I felt like he was saying, Marie, you know what? I love you right where you are and I am gonna walk with you on this road. And you know, it wasn't this thing that happened quick. Like I said, it was some days were easier, some days were harder, but in the process of time, I could look at my life and say, okay, God, you are showing me how to trust you, to not be so concerned with the outcome, the circumstances I want, but just to give it to you. And so I was coming back to that place this weekend and thinking, you know, for, for a lot of us, maybe that is a place where we find ourselves right now. Um, you know, maybe you don't have the advantage of having grown up with a foundation of faith. Maybe you do and you're realizing at this point in your life that you're struggling with this place of being able to trust the Lord. And for, for anyone who finds themselves in that place, I can say from my own experience, what we need is to get to this place where we know that God loves us, to allow His love to be the thing that immerses our heart, that it would penetrate so deeply that we have no other ability but than to trust Him. And then once you have that foundation of trust and knowing that you're loved, then it is a much easier place to be able to pour out your heart and say, okay, God, here are all the things I'm dealing with. So how do you get to that spot? Well, I think it's opening your heart to the idea that you are loved, making a conscious choice to believe that. Yes, I know that it's true, and I know that we say that in faith, but we have to make the choice to believe. Yes, God loves me. It says in 1 John 4, 18, perfect love casts out fear. And if you're walking in a place of fear, that means that you need more of God's love. And I know for myself, I've walked in places of fear in my life, and that means that I'm not walking in his love. This weekend, I had an opportunity just to spend some quiet time with the Lord a little bit more than usual. I wasn't feeling real well yesterday and just spent a lot of time resting. And so it gave me this place to spend more time with the Lord. And I just was remembering that, that it feels so good to be loved, to be taken care of, to have the Lord's love just being poured into my heart. And so that's the thing that I want to share with you today. 
if you're in this place of saying, okay, I'm not sure how to pour out my heart to the Lord, I'm not sure how to trust Him, it's starting with that foundation of knowing that He loves you. So open up the Word, turn to 1 John 4, 18, read about the perfect love that God has for you, and allow His perfect love into your heart, because that is the thing that will drive out the fear. Now I'm not saying that it's going to be this thing that maybe happens for you in five minutes, maybe it is, maybe it is a very instantaneous thing, but a lot of times I think it's like peeling back one layer at a time. Our hearts are a lot like an onion. It's just one layer at a time and the Lord is very gracious in how he does that. So each step, each day that we purpose to know him more and allow his love into our hearts, we'll find it going deeper. So that's my encouragement for you today. Perfect love casts out fear. Find yourself in the pages of the word, 1 John 4:18, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a great night, everyone.